Hey everyone, we're doing a faction vote. I like to be concise, so I'm going to keep my video short here. Tomorrow, I'll be able to show you gameplay of the eight princes, but we'll be picking one prince. Now, many of you, from what I understand, do not know much about this time period or the princes here. What I will tell you is that tomorrow, I'm going to have an introduction where I tell you about this conflict and everything that you need to know about it. If it's long enough, I'll make it a separate video, but also include it in episode one. You know how I like to explain lore and history about any type of game that I play? Well, I'm going to do it here because I love this time period and it stretches on to even this conflict here. So if you don't know much about it tomorrow, you will know much more. All I need you to do right now is vote down below in a straw poll. I have it linked in my video description. I've had it out for a day and I posted about it on my community page, which I used to communicate with all of you and on my discord where I personally use it. And so again, if you don't know much, just vote based off of looks. You could go Google or do whatever you want. But um, yeah, just give me a vote. That way I know who to play as and I'll be sure to do that. Now, if there's like a bunch of other YouTubers covering one, then I'll probably avoid that one. So if like, let's say one character wins and I'm playing the next most popular character that was voted for, then you know why. That's probably because like maybe two or three other channels are covering it. There's always going to be some overlap, but of course, it's best to try to avoid too much overlap because there are eight princes and we get to choose who we want. So again, choose who you want me to play as. Don't worry about everyone else. It's all about you and your vote. Your vote counts here. And I really like getting all of you to kind of engage with the overall channel like that. So don't worry, I'll be finishing older series too. I'm back now. I built a new PC to let you guys know what was going on. I had a CPU that was like five plus years old and I didn't really have the money to build a new PC. Um, I've now since built a new PC and let me tell you, I can render fast. It took me like almost two hours to render a video beforehand. Now it takes me like 20 to 30 minutes at most. Um, I'm not having desync problems when I'm recording now. That was driving me up the wall. I was, and still am, very passionate about all those edited introductions that I was doing. I found them fun, it was engaging. It changed up the formula for me. But the desync problems meant that in like one week, I lost like five hours of footage. And I would love to be able to sit one day a week, record so much, so I can upload each day and then do things in real life. But I was spending 10 hours a day. Imagine doing that every day because you're having to fix problems. You're having to put out fires constantly while you're trying to do your job. Not to mention there's a huge heat wave and I leave and I leave. I live in the deep south and it's been incredibly hot too. And so um, I can't keep the air on all the time. My electric bill would be way too high. Um, so it's just been a bunch of compounded problems. But I made sure to get a really good heat sink and cooler so my CPU can stay nice and chill. But yeah, that's why... Um, I was burned out. I was burned out not because of my channel, but because of the fires related to everything because of my old ass PC. That thing was like literally held apart by, or held together by tape. I get it. Um, it's a thing that I probably needed to do before, but the sheer cost of having to upgrade to a new motherboard would compound everything else. That meant I needed a new CPU. That meant I needed a new uh, version of RAM, a new type of RAM. So I went from DDR3 to DDR4. Um, but I now have a very nice i9. Uh, thankfully, one of you was super kind and donated to me a car that you did not use, which was a 2080. So, man, um, Bill, who actually did that, thank you so much. You helped a lot, really more than you know. And um, I also got that new, even faster SSD to record to, that NVMe, the M2. Um, so I have that. I will probably do a video on my build and all that. And there will be live cam stuff in about a month or two. I've also been taking care of myself. If you guys have seen my previous vlogs, you know that I've, I've usually been a fitness maniac. But for, for like the past two years, I've been pretty unhealthy. So I've been working out every single day. I've been watching what I eat. And I've been looking better, feeling better. Because man, um, if your health is not great and then things start to burn at work, it just kind of gets you a little bit down. It's a challenge that you have to overcome. And I'm overcoming it now. So I want to be consistent again. And I also have secret plans. I know I did a RPG, a RPG channel years ago, but if I upload less, but have more, um, more edited content on my main channel, then I could do RPGs as a side thing. Like I was kind of thinking about if I were to get like one or two months worth of 
roleplay game footage, maybe play that Pathfinder game and upload it, but like edit it and also just kind of like cut out all the boring bits. Like if I'm like running from point A to point B, then it would be more engaging to watch. And then you guys would have role playing content of me every day because you know that's incredibly different in terms of what type of content that I put out, depending on what type of game that I play. In some games, I'm goofier and some I'm more serious because my personality does vary like that. I'm not great at having a consistent brand because you're just seeing me unfiltered all the time. Um, I'm a goof and I can't help it. So that's my video, a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I figured I should tell you a little bit more about what's been going on. So make sure you vote here and uh, love you guys. You've been with me for many years now. And if you haven't, hey, hope you're here for the long term. If you're not, thanks for stopping by, you know. <laughs> so anyway, you guys are great. See ya.